Welcome to the channel folks. Today I got something really nice to show you. As you know, I bought a new portable building which is going to be my new workshop. And right now it doesn't have any power in it. But I have enough portable chargers that for now that's what I'm going to use. And today we got this very cool all powers. Let's take a look at her here. Let me kick her on for you. We got the all powers model r1500 1800 watt portable power station just take a look at her drink it in mm. let's spin her around ain't she pretty yeah look at that and we're going to put her to the test as you seen, this is the power power switch. I just turned it off. Now it'll go off on its own. Now you got to hold it in, and she'll kick on here in a minute. Well, I was kicking it off. Let's kick it on. I think that's all you got to do. Okay, and it gives you four AC outlets. Gives you two USB. Is that B and two USB A or USB C? I'm sorry, USB A, and you get the automotive uh, plug. Comes with all the plugs and the power plug to charge it right here. Plus, I believe there is a solar cable in there because we are going to test the solar panel. Yes, and the accessories. All right, so let's go over some of the things on this. Let me get you up in here closer. Bring it down so you can get a good drink of it. Look at that. She's pretty. Now this is the one I am going to use to power my laser. So as I said, you had your USBs here. You simply click that on when you want to run something off the USB. Also up top, you can lay your phones and charge them wirelessly up to two phones. So that's a nice feature there as well. If you'll spin it around, you've got a reset button if it overloads. You've got your solar panel outlet and your uh, AC outlet to charge it. Go around the back here, and it's a pretty stout unit. You know, the the more power these put out, the bigger they are. And on this side, you're gonna have. I don't know what those are, guys. <laughs> I have no clue. I don't know what those are. Uh, expand battery port, wow. Expand the battery ports. I guess you can hook more stuff up to it. I need to study up on that. Apologize for not knowing. Now this is my fourth one of all powers and uh, I have had nothing but good luck from these. So let's set up some things on these and give it, this is an 1800 watt. Let's take it to 1800 and see what happens. Okay, I've got a 1500 watt heater. We're going to put it on 750 first and see how that does. We're going to take it up to 18 or 1500. So that should bring us on our uh, output to 1500 right there. Now it's at 81% charge. Uh, it shows how much time, nine hours left. And now, uh, as those, what those ports were. If you wanted to stack another unit, which I have several of them, you can actually connect them together and have extra battery power. So that's a pretty cool option right there. And the manual's here, and uh, I did not notice that part, I'm sorry. All right, let's go ahead and kick on. First thing we want to do is click on the AC, just one real quick tap. And well, we're starting on, let's start on 750 at high. Right, how, right here is telling you the, out, the output of the from the battery that this is drawing. As you can see, it's working its way up to 750. It's heating up right now. And it may or may not go all the way up to 750. So that's a pretty good pull. 
Okay, let's go ahead and kick her up to 1500. You can hear the fans kicking on. But we're not stopping there. I've got my big still battery that goes to my still chainsaw. This draws 30 watts. And we're just going to come over here and we're going to go ahead and plug it in too. I'm going to bring it to the max. See the still is going. We're up to 1200 watts. 1300. Climbing. Now when you're running these to the maximum, they're not going to last forever. Uh, they're you know, they're going to get you out of a pinch and in a, in a power outage if you want to run your heater for a while. Like I said, this was only 80, you know, it was 81% when we started. So we have, we're running a 1500 watt heater and this is drawing 300 watts. And it's at only at 1477. So it'll, it can handle plenty. If it's handling the heater alone, that's good. And it hasn't kicked off. So we're going to go ahead and shut the heater off and you can see the wattages drop so you're going to gain more time so it says here this will run for two hours with that pulling that's not going to pull for two hours all right let's go ahead and kick this off i'll plug it in the wall and let it continue plug uh, charging and what we're going to do we're going to go out we're going to hook up the 200 watt solar panel that they have supplied this has four panels so uh, unfortunately the Sun went and hid behind the clouds but we're gonna test her out anyway let's go all right I'm gonna go ahead and open up the panel to show you what all is in here get out of here Right, this comes with your MC4 connectors, your alligator clips to if you want to charge a car battery, a lawnmower battery, whatever. You can plug this in to about any jack that, you know, if, if the jack that you're trying to plug it into doesn't work, they give you many options here to use. So that's cool to have. So we're going to get this solar panel. And these are pretty, pretty dummy proof. They can only go in one way. dude in to here they just press in and plug that dude into here and then we're gonna plug this dude into the solar panel so let's get it set up all right unfortunately the sun's right in the trees it's not drawing anything but that is how you hook it up right over here to the Anderson connector but we're not drawing anything because the sun is behind clouds and the trees. Or I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. But yeah, there's there's hardly any sun coming in. All right. I was able to get that to charge by the solar panel. I didn't have one of the connectors pushed in enough. And then the GoPro battery went dead as they usually do on me. But normally I would retake it, set it all back up. But... There is a Black Friday special on this, so I need to get this video out to you guys so you can get the deal on this wonderful 1800 power, all powers, 1800 watt all powers unit. Now you've seen it run a heater. Uh, this is my fourth one. They haven't let me down yet. It has the lithium ion phosphate battery. A lot of charges in this thing. And I use them a lot. Uh, There's several places in my house I don't have outlets. So I'll put these in the center of the room. If I'm running the vacuum, I just plug it into one of these. Uh, the smaller ones you can actually carry with you while you're vacuuming, do the whole house. Uh, but these are going to be good for inside the new shop. So I will drop a link in the description. And you guys go check it out. They haven't let me down yet. 
so I think you would enjoy having one. Great for a power outage, uh, you never know. Happy trails, thanks for watching.